acordaré, me acordaré, me acordaré de la tierra. Do you remember? I will remember, I will remember, I will remember the land. Je me souviendré, je me souviendré, je me souviendré la tierra. Atrocities caused by the mining companies to our people and the environment are immeasurable. My people have been displaced from their natural environment. And when people are displaced, it is almost impossible to reconstruct your community, your families, and your life. Lives are at stake. That's what people in Canada don't often understand, they cannot comprehend. Lives are at stake right now, as well as livelihoods and traditional ways of life, and life itself, the earth around us, which is dying. This is Wilson. He used to be a fisherman, but he was poisoned because of the dumping of waste into the bay. He suffered mercury poisoning and his legs needed to be amputated. Que no entra en un análisis económico dentro de la lógica del mercado. Porque en la lógica del mercado lo que importa es cuánto voy a ganar, cuánto voy a invertir. Pero se pierden de vista los valores humanos espirituales. We were controlled by Spanish, Portuguese, German, UK, Japan, Holland, and now Indonesia. Why? Because our resources. Resource extraction, mining, has aggravated and continuously aggravates the human rights violations in Papua. When you're speaking about indigenous peoples and resource development, you're not talking about the quality of life, you're talking about the way of life, and you're talking about life itself. Indigenous peoples have been living prophetically to defend that idea that God has given us a unique relationship with the earth. Part of solidarity between the churches and the people has to do with understanding that very simple thing. Que van a destruir la madre tierra, que para nosotros los pueblos indígenas tienen mucho valor de eso depende nuestra vida porque la tierra nos da nuestros alimentos que es el espacio donde estamos verdad el espacio social natural cultural el espacio político económico donde realizamos todas nuestras actividades vitales eso es el territorio los pueblos indígenas no solo nos resistimos sino los pueblos indígenas tenemos propuestas y tenemos una forma de vida en la que estamos defendiendo Es nuestra propuesta, es respetar la naturaleza, respetar nuestra cosmovisión, nuestra forma de ver la vida. I will remember, I will remember, I will remember the land. I will remember, I will remember, I will remember. God's mandate was that humankind has the responsibility to till the land and make it productive for the benefit of all living things. It's not for us to exploit it, it's not for us to derive wealth out of it, but it's to make sure that out of it we have life. And so we must treat the environment, we must treat the resources entrusted to us knowing that there are generations yet to come who must benefit from it. And how can we then, with this mandate, just stand by and watch as these things are happening? The fundamental basis for churches' pursuance of social justice emanates from the biblical moral imperative that every human being is God's creation and that has intrinsic value. Hay necesidad de elaborar leyes internacionales que sean cumplidas 
y que aseguren el derecho a un ambiente natural, seguro y saludable. Ahora bien, es evidente que las normas jurídicas no son suficientes. Podemos pensar que exista un sistema legal perfecto que proteja el medio ambiente, pero eso es absurdo, al menos en el caso de Guatemala, en donde tenemos una ley que es sumamente débil, floja, y que de verdad no está tomando en cuenta aspectos muy importantes, como el mismo respeto a la decisión de las poblaciones. palabras meramente diplomáticas se quedan vacías cuando se trata de defender la vida, cuando se trata de hablar de vidas que ya se han perdido. A la sinceridad, yo prefiero decirles con mis humildes palabras lo que pensamos y sentimos. Quizás piensen que vengo de lejos, pero esa zona de donde vengo es también parte de la aldea global. Es suficientemente conocido que el modelo económico dominante ha producido tantas víctimas y que por tanto estamos en el deber de repensarlo y buscar la construcción de una sociedad realmente justa, democrática y sustentable. At the end of the day, all this talk about corporate social responsibility are mainly corporate greenwashing to hide the extent of environmental degradation and the corruption of mining operations. Therefore, what we are required to do, of course, is to organize ourselves, to network ourselves, both at the local as well as national and international levels. We need to do that if we have to survive. To be in solidarity with the struggle of the people requires of the churches to be ecumenical And when I say that, it is going to be, it's bound to be a choice between churches remaining as monuments or being movements. I will remember, I will remember, I will remember.
was a mining conference looking specifically at Canadian mining companies and what uh, we're doing throughout the world, especially in countries in Africa, Latin America, and Philippines. And uh, it was attended by 150 people. 50 of those people were church leaders from around the world in these countries in the global south. So these were their first-hand experiences that they were sharing with us. And it was very much a, an eye-opener for me personally. And I had to, after this, confer after this conference, say, uh, look at, take a look at my own ethical investing and make some changes. So I this motion is a way for us to engage this issue at every level, members, uh, congregations, synods, and the national church. So I urge you to pass this motion um, in order to um, ask us to wrestle with this ethical issue. Please vote. The motion is carried. Thank you very much.